Hey everyone, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to your love reading, your Virgo saga love reading. Hope everyone's doing well. Okay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link below the video in the description box where you can contact me and you can get a reading. Just book it same day. All right, so Virgo. Let's see. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Okay. Past energy. What? Present. 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 Future. 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 Okay. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Whole lot of love. I just heard that song. Want a whole lot of love? All right. Um the bottom of the deck here <gasps> omg ace of cups this is totally a blessing that's coming in here total love blessing new beginning things that are going to have a very profound effect on your heart my cup my cup overfloweth am i saying that right my cupeth overfloweth <laughs> I don't know. My my cup is, my cup runneth over. There we go. Um, yep, yeah, love is coming down from above. And oh my gosh, that's so bizarre. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody's got clarity. No more living in la la fantasy land. Committing. No more ghosting. Okay. Reciprocity giving back. Okay. All right. We do have the king of, um, who you king of pentacles in the reverse, greedy, over investing. Um, okay. Some of you could be connecting with a Virgo. All right. Indulging with this person, not going back to the past, but also stuck on this person. Okay. I feel like yesterday was Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn as well. Okay, let's take a look here. At your love messages. What's up? What's up, Virgo? Ooh. I think I'm going to give these like an old fashioned shuffle because I have not shuffled these like this. Let's see. Um, the past energy definitely, you know, the past could have been eight hours ago. Or it could be a long time ago. Doesn't the past doesn't always mean your ex? The past could just the past just means the past. Okay, you apply it how it fits. But the past energy is communication, love, flirting, maybe an apology, expressions of romance, physical intimacy. Two people made a decision to get together, travel, news. This love came in very quickly. Uh, it started very quickly. It might still be going on. Um, Gemini energy there. We also are, well, well, it's Mercury. So I always feel, even though um, we say the lovers is, is a card of the twins and Gemini, this is a twin flame connection for sure. Could be Virgo because Mercury ruled the same as the magician. We also have Libra, Taurus, and Scorpio. Okay. So whatever, this is a uh, vulnerability. Two people make a decision to love one another in the past. And it could very well be without even saying the words. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is safe for you to love. And your soulmate. Oh my gosh. So for some, it's a soulmate. For others, it's a twin flame. I don't know. I feel like it's a twin flame that feels like a soulmate connection. What does that mean? It means that you've both ascended and things are good. So in the past, a lot of fast movement, a lot of romance, a lot of love, connecting with each other. Let's get some clarifying cards to see here. It could have been travel. Cupid's arrows. Uh, fast, quick, quick, quick. There could have been an apology that brought you back, brought you both back into bed together as well. 
<laughs> quickly. Makeup, breakup to makeup kind of thing for some. Okay, yeah, look, an apology for the heartbreak. Um, by the time you're listening to this, this could have been yesterday. Um, breakup, apology for the third party, apology for hurting, apology for hurting you, um, for seeing things. The Three of Swords can be a card of arguments, okay? Let's take a look here at the lovers, okay? Yeah, this hidden love. This might have been forbidden. A forbidden love. Somebody was forbidding it. But it was also like the love was there. Let's take a look at the moons. Because that moon energy, is that's very Pisces. And that's very, you know, in fantasy. There was a lot of fantasies. Um, people ha Somebody had deep dreams or thoughts or visions of the two of you coming together. Okay. Um, there was a need here to overcome some fears, to face some a situation possibly to travel to be together for some there's a magician okay this person whomever you were connecting with again with that gemini virgo energy really laying their cards on the table or they did in the past and you know as, as much as possible and just sped things up with you tried to make things go really fast yeah the four of wands to either become married or um, get into a committed relationship or try to come home or reconnect because um, that can be a card of reunion or homecoming that kind of thing interesting but what's going on here like everything looks good in the past what happened express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive with the highest energy of all yes this is your soulmate what happened Because it got really, it gets not great after all this. Hold on a minute. I want to know. Oh. Okay. Um, look, I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell you this. <laughs> Nothing bad really happened. I just feel like there's interference from another person was trying to disrupt this relationship or cause issues or problems okay seriously in the present things in the past look really good but there's stalking there's gossip there's blocking there's somebody in the present is coming in and causing some trouble here some problems this could be it could be a mother it could be a mother figure, it could be a father or father figure or a friend. It's a, it's definitely feminine energy though. There could be a pregnancy. Somebody comes in here and is stalking or sneaking around or trying to find something out here. Okay, I don't get this. Okay, King of Swords. They, Oh. All right, Virgo. Again, with the drama. Okay. There's an air sign who is trying to find out if you and somebody else are together. Okay. If you're physically intimate with each other, if it's being hidden. If it's if if it's been a secret, um, this this person who's trying to find out, or it could be one or two people trying to find out, feels like um, they they feel like they're being breadcrumbed that somebody's taking from them and giving to you. Okay, drama, definitely. And with that, okay, they might they might have a child or a son, um, or they're getting somebody else to do their dirty work or ask questions. There's a little stalker alert happening here because I don't see anything bad that happened in the past, you know, with someone that you were connecting with. Like I said, even if it's yesterday, but there's some drama coming out here, some problems. Let me see this King of Swords because it feels to me like there's a child or somebody young who's telling somebody older about your connection with 
your person from the past. I hope that makes sense. This might be an ex, or this is just like um, a nosy Nelly coming in. Or she just, uh, he or she is complaining about child support they're, they're, and they're trying to spy, see what's going on or they're not getting the money that they feel they deserve. I feel like that's happening. This is like, you know, general hospital here. The heck? I don't even know if there's, are those daytime soap operas? Well, here in the U.S. I mean, are they still, I guess it's just on Netflix now. I don't know if they're still on. I'm going to have to start watching them again. Okay. King of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, the future, Six of Cups again, you guys, come on. Nine of Swords. Okay, so whoever you were connecting with in the past, they're going to be temporarily separating from you in the future. Why? Um, because they got to go back. This is not reconciliation for you because I don't really feel like there's going to be a separation. This person's going to go back into their past, which is to deal with this person and put an end to it once and for all. Take care of business. Put an end to whatever this is. Okay? Because there's definitely an interference. Um, and there may have been an interference. You might have been connecting with someone for a while, and there's another person or a third party that has interfered and has continuously done this. I feel like your person is going to go take care of that before um, this Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords and before it gets to the Ten, okay? Which is like, you know, they, they're going to come back and put an end to it, but also this is, this is bringing your person a lot of anxiety and stress and struggle because they don't want to lose you. And it's bringing them a lot of, they need your support, is what I hear. Because I feel like this person's intentions with you are good, Virgo. Let's get another clarifying card here. Okay, yeah. The chariot. Going back to make change. This person, you know, they're putting an end to this whole thing. Somebody is causing a lot of problems in their, li in their life, okay? Uh, not letting them move on, causing problems, financial difficulty, or whatever it might be. And th this person is legit going back to put an end to all of it and make like major change here, taking action because it's building eight of no eight, um, eight of swords to nine of swords before it gets to the ten, and it's like a complete and painful like block. Like this person does not hate the ex if it's an ex, but they are definitely in this position of like, this has got to stop, okay? This has to stop. I just saw in my mind, um, and I'm, that's why I'm looking, it's not here, but I just saw, where was it? I did see it, didn't I? Did I see, did I see justice? I did. That was in the beginning, right? When I was pulling your cards. Yeah, this could be a court thing, going to court, settling something out of court or dealing with a court issue here, okay? Being fair, definitely being fair. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna see this person's feelings for you, Virgo, what their emotions are here. Because I, I do feel like whoever you're connecting with, okay, there's a lot of love. This person's intentions are good. They are sorry for. They are sorry for the any kind of issues that other people are causing or a third party. Um, if they cheated, yes, and now they have an ex coming back or something happened. You know, obviously you do what you want to do. If you don't want to support this person, you just want to keep it moving. Go ahead, do what you got to do. But I feel like they're putting an end to something now here as i said like overcoming obstacles facing the fears um and coming forward just being near you is intoxicating boundaries firm boundaries are needed now so virgo this person like you may need to put up boundaries as well okay with your person until they're able to deal with whatever they have going on here because it's causing problems in your life as well you're like a bystander but it's indirectly causing problems because this third party is gossiping or saying things about you and you know it, it's it's causing damage okay wait timing is not quite right and i feel like this is for you right and both of you like 
it's not like it's not just oh gosh i just heard the ex is saying this i want you back i can't live without you you're intoxicating to me um but for both of you like this is for you and your person is saying this to the ex okay the timing's not quite right i will get the money i will handle whatever i don't want to be with you though and putting those boundaries in place and that's saying to the ex okay who's just not taking no for an answer and is causing a lot of problems i know i made a mistake okay so your person definitely Ooh, guys look what's back I think it's a sign, you know, just can't get over it. I can't, I can't get away from the whole light thing. Here, hold on. Oh, right, I just stood up and nothing's going on, okay? I didn't touch anything. All right, denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth, okay? Um, I feel like your person is saying that to that ex, you know, you're totally in denial. You're not seeing things as they are like you've got to get over it passion try something you've never done before okay and this for your person is to definitely like with all their passion and all their might is to um for some of you i just hear you like oh he keeps placating her or sh or sh she keeps placating him um or just not standing up right they just keep doing the same thing and that's why this keeps going around and around somebody's getting tired all right one more i do wish you well Okay, so this person definitely does, you know, like I said, I don't feel like they have any animosity, but things are getting worse. They don't do something about this. They know they took the easy way out by really not dealing with this directly, and that's why I feel like there's an apology coming here. This, whoever they were connecting with was really taking advantage and manipulating. I pretend that I don't care. This person's way of dealing with this ex or this problem was to just basically act as if it wasn't happening and that caused a lot of problems in your uh, relationship, okay? All right, let's see what your advice is. And then I'm gonna go on to the singles after this reading. So stick around if you're single and you wanna see what the energy is for new love coming in, okay? All right, king of earth, okay? For some of you, this is definitely the person you're dealing with or it's you, okay? Uh, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully, a supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for, wow. And then you have the 10 of cups, a happy marriage, happily ever after, uh, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, their children, the children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust, okay? I feel like you and this person you're connecting with, there's definitely interference from external parties. And I feel like overall, your person truly does love you. They feel safe with you. They do view you as a soulmate. You probably view them as a twin flame. Um, but they do feel like uh, they can, like you are very supportive to them and vice versa. And this third party interference, mother, ex, whomever, father, sibling, friend, whatever it might be. Uh, I feel like your person is going to just kind of fight back now um, because they don't want to lose you again to something that might have happened in the past okay yeah there you go air energy queen of swords the queen of swords is usually someone who is divorced either once twice or three times or more okay queen of swords has a mouth on her now virgo you have a little bit of that energy but uh you're a little different because you're very earthy and very grounded okay and you're much more reserved maybe even humble. The Queen of Swords gen generally is not Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't make her a bad person, it's just her energy, okay? Uh, very judgmental. She's smart, she's experienced, she's humorous, but she's usually divorced or unmarried. And this is the other person, um, the third party that is interfering or that your person was letting interfere in your connection, okay? Um, she'll get to a place where she'll begin releasing this relationship. 
she'll see the humor in it and she'll go back and focus on her career or move on to somebody else, okay? Um, your advice is to understand this. Don't get involved with her. She has nothing to do with you. Your person needs to straighten this situation out. Um, but recognize that she is there. She's showing up. Just don't get involved, okay? Just keep your mouth shut, Virgo. Focus on your, your awesome greatness that you're actually getting into in this time of your life, your work, your money, your fitness, your health, your whatever. And just like she does not hold a candle to you and your person sees that. I don't know why they did what they did i'm not going back any further but it could very well be similar to some of the past readings where one of them was kind of like your person was trying to get you jealous or trying to get you to open up or played some games and then they took on a third party and but they weren't intentional to be with that person and they were using them and that third party is now retaliating for some of you that could be why there's an apology Okay, um, for others, I don't even freaking know. It, it could just be a crazy person who just thinks that um, they saw your person um, on social media and they automatically feel like uh, like they're obsessed. Um, the external party became obsessed with your person and thinks that there's actually a relationship there when there's not. I don't know. You never know. It's all kind of crazy. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to see what the singles for you, those of you. Okay, now listen, I do these singles readings every day. Um, why do I do them every day when I just gave you the singles? Well, because some of you are going to meet um, someone that I mentioned in the singles read, and some of you won't. And I want you to be able, I want to be able to reach as many people as I can, because there's no way. Um, you know, like three or four hundred of you in the chat are all going to meet the same person, and there's no way only one of you is going to meet the one person. It's possible, but I want to try to like give it all to you guys, okay? And also, I like being here with you. All right, let's take a look. Yesterday's singles was just about you kind of getting your head on straight, right? So, hopefully, you have. <laughs> okay. So there's communication coming in with a water sign. Okay. Now, listen. If the Six of Cups shows up, then I'm going to tell you that this is your past. But if not, um, then this is definitely somebody new. Uh, Cancer, Sc uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. There's new communication coming in. Potential new uh, victory, um, overcoming some obstacles, some type of communication with this person. And not just overcoming obstacles, but a sense of like uh, good communication, positive, strong, victorious. Like I feel like this, and you know what? It's interesting because... Um, this person is not usually a communicator, which is bizarre, but the Ten of Wands is here, so I feel like this person works very, very hard. Um, they work. So if it's a female, um, you know, she doesn't work. If it's a female, she's not working right now. She's in between jobs. Um, she's working around the house. I just saw somebody carrying a, bun a, bun a bundle of laundry. Okay, and I'm not stereotyping, but please don't give me any woke stuff because, you know, f males and females carry their laundry around because we're all doing laundry here, okay? So it's not a gender-specific thing, okay? But I just feel like this particular female... Um, she might not be working right now. Um, she's taking care of stuff at home at this time. She might be on unemployment or in, be in between jobs, okay? Men, I know the guys are like, hey, that's fine if she's carrying laundry. She can do my wash any day. Um, and then if it's a male, he is actually working. And I feel like what he's doing is um, he is, okay, uh, he works on like construction site. That's what I'm just hearing. Construction site. Okay. Now we have the huh? Two of Swords. This person spends a lot of time thinking. Uh, they avoid conflict. 
Okay, that's what it is mostly. This uh, so when you meet this person, they're conflict avoidant. They don't like they're not. And I'm talking not conflict in the sense of like dealing with basic stuff. I'm talking about drama. I mean to say drama avoidant. That's what I feel. They don't like drama. They don't want any and poor person because they know like Virgo you got so much drama going on here in your love life <laughs> Virgo but yeah they don't like that kind of stuff on TV yeah that's fine but in their personal life no everybody else's drama sure give me the popcorn tell me the tea but having it infiltrate their life no they just completely block it that's how they are they're like nope they don't want to talk about it they want to hear it they don't want to see it but they're also very competitive. Okay, this person also has a broken heart. Okay, they suffer from some kind of like, um, they've been cheated on. They have been cheated on harshly. Or they, they also avoid heartbreaking things so to speak, like in their life. Like if it's bad news, they're kind of like, I don't want to hear it. Uh, if it's going to hurt me, uh, they're very sensitive. That's what their spirit's trying to tell you, that this person is highly, highly, highly sensitive. Every vibration they feel. Thunder, lightning strikes 2,000 miles away, they sense it. If their child has fallen off their bike at a friend's, they sense it very um, vibrational, emotional, sensitive, okay? Um, so the chariots here again, this could be a similar person as yesterday, or was it the day before this person likes to travel? Um, or they live far away from you where they would have to come, they come into your town or they come to connect with you or meet you somewhere. Um, they could also drive a truck or an Uber for a living, or they work in a hospital or ambulance. This person also dresses up as a stormtrooper for, um, I don't know, like those comic convention things. <laughs> or they have in the past when they were younger, we'll say that. This person really likes Star Wars though. They're like a Star Wars fan, which is neat. Okay. Um, a little bit of a melancholy type of a personality, right? They see the glass half empty before they see it half full, okay? Um, that's kind of like their default. They say no before they say yes um, because they, they need time to think about it. They're just not spontaneous in the sense where they're just going to say, yes, let's do it, and I don't care what the outcome is. No, they spin themselves down into the rabbit hole until somebody catches them and say, wait, oh, my gosh. It's insane. <laughs> anyway, they spin themselves down into the rabbit hole until somebody catches them, right? And says, yo, hey, wait, turn around. The cups, the cups are full. Like there's two cups back there. Take care of it. It's fine. Everything's good. Okay, so they have a, they have a sense of like grief sometimes. So, you know, Virgo, sometimes you might have to, you know, shake them up. Okay. Um, it could have something to do with, you know, them being sensitive and then them trying to just avoid heartbreak. They're very sensitive, I'm telling you. I keep saying that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they have a fear of abandonment, being left out in the cold. Gosh, it sounds like you got yourself a project. Listen, just because a single person's coming in doesn't mean you have to be with them. But, you know, you have a good heart, Virgo, so maybe you will. But, um... <laughs> This is kind of like a poverty mindset in a lot of ways. And that goes. There's two fives. Hey, look at this. Five, 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 three fives. Some of you might be seeing five, five, five. But yeah, this person like is very easily moved by negativity. They try really, really hard. Uh, it takes a lot for them to stay away from that. It's almost like they have to put it into practice every day. Like they force themselves because they know that they will... Um, let themselves get down. They've been hurt a lot in the past. And really, it feels to me like they just want a victory. They just want to, just please, they say, just give me this one thing. Just give me this one person. Just this one victory. That's all I'm asking, you know? Um, 
that's it did I pull charms I forgot I'm skipping it you guys let me tell you what I am like um, trying to move through the readings because I'm trying to get them all out before I actually move into my new place which will be next week so I'm kind of like pushing through here as much as I can I'm not cheapening the readings, so please don't think that um, it just takes a lot of energy for me to do it and I want to make sure that the day that I move that you will have your reading while I'm out in the world taking care of business because I won't be joining you while I'm in the process of moving so yeah a lot going on so please forgive me if it's not as long as usual but you know I think 30 minutes is good all right Virgo so all right you know what no we'll just do one I'm just gonna pull one the heck is this I don't even know what that is it's like a moose I don't know someone drinks like moose beer or something all right here you go tennis rackets okay tennis rackets somebody plays tennis so you guys are going to play tennis so this person plays tennis this is also um snowshoes okay and that moose maybe somebody lives somewhere where there's like and there's a dragon here somebody's year of the dragon or uh where that moose is there's like um enter the dragon i just heard year of the dragon 76 2000 uh, 88 um, 64 I think I'm not 100% sure but where that moose is uh, there's a lot of snow so somebody wears snow like, like you know like the old Eskimo snowshoes is not that what they're called is that what they are cool all right you guys love you see you guys very soon bye